Hello everybody, today we are going, I'm going to be teaching you how to add a uh, URP in any of your Unity projects, doesn't have to be Corel Tag, um, but uh, basically these, I just want to make this clear, these are not the only things you can have, I think that's obvious, um, but you can always just go into this and like just experience, experiment with this, because like see Vigne, uh, I, I don't even know if that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. I People say it's Vignette, I don't know. But, um, look, you can do this. Like, this, this looks cool. You can mess around with this. Maybe if you're, like, doing a monster and you need to do this. I'll also teach you how to do a uh, URP with a monster, too, if I can. But you can do this, and this would be... I'm not, I actually might add this to my monster, I don't know. But, um... Yeah, I just want to make that clear that you can do whatever you want with this. And I'm only using this, number one, for style, and number two, so that I can cut down on uh, lag and get higher frame rate. Because trust me, I would have all these other things, but, you know, you just can't do that. And then you're going to want to... that's... oh, wait, no. Okay, forgot. So first, you have to go over here, I think it's oh yeah window 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 um and then you need to go to something that says package manager and then i already did this but um what you're gonna want to do this i'm pretty sure it should be like in project or something you're gonna want to go to unity registry okay then you're gonna want to search up universal and it should come up with this universal rp urp <laughs> Uh, it says R RP stands for render pipeline, basically just render stuff, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, uh, you're going to want to click install wherever you see it. Um, and then once you've done that, then you're going to want to go down here into your freaking, uh, whatever. Um, and you're going to want to go into your assets, then do this and click create. And then wherever it says rendering, you're going to want to add this one right here. URP asset with universal renderer, okay? Also, you can, once you click this, it should make uh, you do a name right here. I just named it URP. It's simple as that. It should, like, spawn, spawn, spawn in or whatever, both of these. Okay, then, then you're going to want to go to edit. Uh, project settings and then it's sh okay you're gonna want to go to graphics right here and then right here where it says scriptable render pipeline settings this should be empty um you're gonna want to click this and then select your urp so up next <laughs> it should um basically all of your textures uh should be pink so it can't hit whenever this happened to me I got super scared and I literally almost just destroyed this project. I almost was like, nope, <laughs> I'll just restart. But then I looked up online how to do it. And basically, I'm, there should be a setting in here somewhere. But what I did, oh, look, there's still some that are like this here. But um, I'm pretty sure right here, you need to do this and you need to make it make this thing at the top universal render pipeline slash lit or whatever so so i'm pretty sure it's this yep see that's fixed it so that's basically what you have to do for all of them and basically you can just select all of them so like this oh not like that but uh you can hold control and do this so anything that is pink you can just select it like that and then you can you i'm pretty sure it's uh before this it should be standard um obviously we don't want that we want universal we want lit okay and boom that's it okay so after you've done that i'm pretty sure that that is it for installing the urp now is setting it up so you're gonna want to search up universal or sorry just urp so then you're gonna want to click this this thingy right here and i'm pretty sure it should just be empty and it should say add override you're gonna want to first of all i think what most people want urp for is bloom 
because look, if I get rid of all of these, uh, it still looks presentable, okay? So, but if I get rid of it, mm, just look at just look at the difference, you know. So basically, uh, you're gonna want to click Add Override, and then Post Processing, and then you can find all your things here. So the things if this i could wait i'm gonna get rid of bloom real quick so that i can show you this um if you go into post processing bloom number one it's right there but you can if you still can't find it you can just search it up um i can if you want i could go like more into depth about um what bloom does i mean what all these things do so yeah basically that's that's the tutorial bye bye